Yo guys, I'm Toto, and welcome to another, it, well, it's another Hearts of Iron 4 video, but uh, what's going to be is me showing you how to do a, an achievement for something in the game that I found. So it, today's going to be an achievement. I'm going to be showing you how to get the United Netherlands achievement as quickly as possible without any problems whatsoever. Now, I've done this a few times, and I've probably found the quickest way possible. So pretty much what we're going to be doing, you don't, you don't need historical AI focuses off. You can have them on. Although having it off would actually make it probably a little easier just because, you know, Japan might not declare war on China and Germany might take longer to go for the Anschluss. So that doesn't really, like, I mean, it doesn't matter what it, what it does. So pretty much what you want to do at the beginning, you're going to want the support weapons, go for close air support, and go for production. You're going to want this production efficiency cap. Now you don't really need to position them and don't pick a national focus and put all your industry on infantry equipment. You don't want to use any dockyards because you want to have as much, uh, you don't want to be using, because you're going to be building uh, casts later on, so you don't want to be using oil. So just build up military factories and say don't choose a focus so we can get political power as quickly as possible because we're going to go into a civil war. So once we're done, there'll be this territory right here that they'll get, and it should be a quick takeover. All right, so once you have 150 political power, pick the fascist demagogue and click the political uh, political effort just so you can get. So once this is done, you'll you'll have a decent amount of. Uh, so you'll have 10% by the time this is done, and then you'll have a decent amount of political power to start preparing for the civil war. Okay, once you have this focus, don't pick any more. As you can see, one more, and we have enough for the Civil War. So do expand civil support and expand military support at the same time. Now if you may be wondering, why are we going fascist? Because fascist, uh, it gives you recruitable, yeah, recruitable population of 5% and 2%. As well as if you go for ideological fa fanaticism, which you'd get, yes, you would get it if you're going ca communist, but you don't get the uh, recruitable population you would, it'll add 5% to war support and by the time we're done this and we're at war we can switch to extensive conscription if you need to. I, I didn't when I was doing it but you might, if, if you want to do that you can. And go for the grand battle plan because we will be playing defensive because Belgium will have more units than we will. But do not pick any more focuses and go for dispersed industry for that production increase. Okay, once that is done, ensure lower support, so that means you can keep your commander, well, your uh, general, and expand civil support again. It should ha You only should need to do it one or two more times before you can start the civil war. If you want to expand military support again, you can, because that will give you extra military factories for production. So if you want to do that early, you can get a lot more production. I think I will be doing that, because then I will get a lot more factories. It will just give you free factories. You can get uh, pretty much after this, it doesn't really matter what you research as long as you're getting Grand Battle Plan and the approved machine and dispersed industry number two. You can upgrade your fighters, which it will do if you want to. Okay, once this is finished, we can ignite the Civil War, which I will be doing. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Well, I guess it's all right. that happens <laughs> oh hey Republican Spain one I have it on historical act historically accurate it's not even the end of 936 it's strange oh I guess they'll have an attack bonus okay so they yep we have five of the eight divisions they have three of them so we can just pretty much just go in there and since they're all actually if I pin him here I was really dumb with them so I could just take it and I won now what we want to do is train 
because we had a ton of military factors we can build up you want to build up uh, you can build up up to 24 if you want I'm only gonna build 15 because that seems that was pretty much what the best one was for me we barely used any infantry equipment now after this you don't you don't want to pick any more you don't don't pick still don't pick a uh, still don't, don't pick a national focus yet you won't need to pick it until we get our justifications going on Belgium and Luxembourg which you will need 200 experience for okay once it's done add them here and swap them and this is what we need the manpower for this is going to add a ton of units to our thing which is why we are going to be wanting to go for fascists because having good divisions will mean that we can we can take hold our ground better and since we have 20 is usually what I, I found was best and oh don't click these even though they're really enticing don't click them because they will completely destroy your political power again. Okay, once you have 200 uh, political power, just find Luxembourg and then Belgium, cancel Luxembourg's and justify again. And they will, because we want to be at war with both of them at the same time before, because if one of them, because if you declare war on only one of them, then it, once Japan's on, uh, Japan declares war on China and Germany does the Anschluss, it'll be over 25% and Luxembourg or Belgium, whichever one you declared war on, which you would have declared war on second, will be guaranteed by the United Kingdom or France. Now you can, oh, yeah, you can pick, you should start going for the uh, national focuses now. Go up, so just rush up to ideological fanaticism and then go for the industry, go for the military factories. You can also, uh, I recommend grabbing iron from Germany just so you can produce more guns quickly. I probably should have said basically while you're waiting, don't train these units because as if they don't have enough manpower or supply, like how they are right now, their experience will actually go down and set up. So don't train them, wait till they have enough manpower or equipment, whichever one comes first. Also, you should be able to get limited conscription and infantry, uh, yeah, the, uh, infantry, infantry division attack and defense, because those will be necessary for defending against Belgium. Because, as you can see, Belgium is slowly building up their their uh, military. Well, and you won't really have to worry about Luxembourg. It's just Belgium that you have to worry about by the end of it. I'd recommend going for uh, volunteer, uh, limited conscription first, sorry. Just so you can get that extra boost of manpower on top of your militarism and military youth. So basically once you filled up your, uh, I've done this early, once you filled this up you can actually diverge this into your air force if you wish, but you won't really have the manpower to field your army. But I'd recommend getting some close air support. And you don't really need the bombers. As you can see, uh, world tension, uh, your war support is at 15%, uh, uh, which is why I'm saying to go for ideological fanaticism. Because then, once, because it adds 5% to your uh, war support. So if you do that, then you can get your extensive conscription since you're a fascist. But of course, you're already going to be at war by that point, so I'm not, it, it doesn't really matter if you want it or not. It's just kind of useful. Okay, so you have your war goal for Belgium, uh, sorry, Luxembourg, and you should have the Belgium one in a second, a few days from now. And Anschluss is just happening, so we're okay. So uh, the United Kingdom and France will not guarantee them since world tension is not above 20%. So we can declare war on both of them at the same time. Make and they will start attacking us, so last stand to keep that defense up. So pretty much the plan here, since Belgium, as you can see, 
has increased the amount of units it has, we're just going to sit and defend against them first. And uh, it doesn't really matter what you do with that. And don't accept any of these, get rid of them, because they will increase both tension and you don't really want to do that. I'd also recommend falling back from these areas is because they, they'd have to attack from a river here. And make sure that your units aren't pushing into uh, make sure they're trying not uh, they're not trying to push into them because they won't defend very well and with areas like this you can't actually push back against things like this because then like they're attacking and uh, so yeah just try to try to defend as best as you can okay so you can actually field your air force now and the cast the reason why I wanted everyone to get cast is because close air support will help you in pushing them back and it will damage the, their units a lot quicker so this will take less time so they're just endlessly pushing into us because we think since they have more units stacked up that they're stronger and because they're so weak and their organization is so low that they will they yeah so just sit just eat up their attacks and then when you feel that you're strong enough or they're low enough you can start pushing back against them. Especially pushing into areas where they are attacking is a good idea, but not really when they're, like, it's across the river, like how it is here. I wouldn't recommend putting it on ex uh, aggressive, but just because you don't want to be wasting equipment or pushing into areas you, that you know you can't get into. Of course, the toughest areas will be like this, because you're attacking across the river. But micromanaging for this might be a little better. But usually I, I just found that a, a basic push is okay. And if you can, cut off these units, that would be a good idea. Oh. So we have taken Belgium, so just annex them, and then just make your whole army just go into Luxembourg, because Luxembourg can't really push in. And Luxembourg is dead. And you can form Leo Belgicus. This will give you the achievement. I already have it, as you can see, it is right here, United Netherlands. So it didn't pop up for me or anything, but this is how you, this is how you uh, get United Netherlands. So, well, it, and it's 1938, so you can join the Axis, and or if you want to stay neutral, you can. I just I'm just going to join the Axis like that, and you will have the industry of all three nations. So. It's pretty good. And you do get cores on all of this, so your manpower goes way up. So, thanks guanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found anything of this useful, uh, leave a like and I'll see you guys in the, the next video like this, I guess.